of the things that you want to get right when it comes to remodeling the bathroom are those shower bases. And here to tell us all about them is Anne Marie Bogus. She is with the Anne Marie Design Studio. She's the owner and designer. Thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, no problem. I love this. Of course. Well, let me tell you something. I did not know this was actually called the shower bases. I mean, you think of the shower and you just think everything's all in there together. The bottom part. But the bottom part. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what we're diving into. I mean, let's talk about the shower bases. We're looking at some beautiful photos right here. But what are people doing for designs when it comes to these bases? So you're looking at a picture here that has a preformed shower base, meaning that that is a poured product that okay. even shows this is that slit drain. It's like a trench sort of piece. It's horizontal versus that circle you normally have in your base. So these bases don't have grout. They don't have anything that could really leak, mm. which is really nice. And they come in all different sizes. You're seeing it again here. They make a seat top to match it as well. I use a product called the Onyx Collection. It comes out of Kansas. Oh, this is <laughs> it's nice. a really neat product. And they have a ton of different colors. What I like about it is it's really, really durable and strong. This picture shows a tiled shower base. So the difference being that you can either tile your base, so the, the part you're standing on is what I'm really talking about. You can tile it or you can get a product that's pre-formed into a shower base. Now Kohler has some on American Standard. They're like acrylic bases. You might be used to getting in sort of a cheap version that kind of have some hollowness mm -hmm. to them. I don't do those. Okay. But the idea is when you're doing a shower base, there's different things to know. How to, how to seal it really well. The whole goal is everyone showers, everyone, has a shower in their home somewhere. You need I hope to stand everybody's on showering. something. <laughs> right. You need to stand on something. So we don't want it to leak. And, mm -hmm. and this specifically, the topic got brought up because I have a client who, this is a gorgeous shower. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a tiled base, tiled walls. Again, mm -hmm. tile base, tile walls. But the idea is a client just recently, we were doing their whole basement and we could not move into the basement completely because we realized that above us, their master bathroom was a leaky shower. It was because someone had been there before and they did not properly seal it. So there's underlayment that has to be done properly for any shower. First of all, the backer board, the material along the backer board. We use this product from Schluter. It's like a foam product, meaning it's never going to ever, ever, ever mold or That's rot. That's what we need. Or anything. That's yeah. exactly what we you need. You can dip this thing in water and it will never have any moisture contained inside of it. So we put that underneath as a barrier underneath the tile. Or you could do a pre-made one if you don't want to deal with grout. And then there's the pretty finishes I see. that you get to add together. You know, this is my favorite. Okay, before we go dive into these finishes, what's more popular? The pre-made, the tile. tiled with the, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a look thing, because Pinterest and, and mm -hmm. Howes and all these great images have tile on them. But there is pros and cons. Tile shower bases, the material is cheaper, the labor is more. Mm -hmm. On a pre-made base, the material is more, more but, the but the labor is way cheaper. So it just depends on how you right. spend your money. It's overall more with the tiled base okay. in the end. Plus there's grout. So do we want to wash grout out? Do we want to get, I don't want to say stains, but gunk mm -hmm. that's off the grout. Some people don't, some people don't care. Just depends <laughs> on what, what you want. Right, well, who's let's cleaning Let's talk about it? the nice and the pretty. Yes. You know so, I love all these colors. If you're looking at some of these pieces, this is that marble look. It's actually a porcelain tile. It's a two by two. When you get to a shower drain, you need something small like this to make it slope to the drain so that the water okay. does not pile up and make puddles inside of it. Mm -hmm. This is a rock look. That is pretty. This was really trendy for a a while and then kind of went away to clean lines. Now it's coming back again. This is more organic. Here's another one. Very organic looking. I, I think I like rock these. look. Like so mm -hmm. Feels pretty neat in your feet. It does. <laughs> this is showing one that's kind of a hexagon shaped mm -hmm. tile. I would do the black on the bottom, maybe the black with the gold up on the shower wall okay. just to tie it into each other. This is a really cool idea. This tile looks like a basket weave. Just how the shapes kind of go together. And it's got a good texture. If you could that's feel nice. it, you'd, you'd see that. Mm -hmm. Then when you float up, you can kind of see that a white shower goes with everything. You could change the grout color to be light or darker and it affects the overall look but it's still just tile on the walls and this one you can't tell super well but this is I know I get excited this looks like flannel when it's on a floor or mm -hmm. on a wall so you could actually wrap this on a now shower base floor cool. and then up a wall and it looks like a oh, flannel blanket neat. it's just so cool. cool now what about yeah. this one because I, I knew you'd eyes like it to that. <laughs> yep so this is just it's another mosaic it's a hexagon mosaic it looks like metallic material inside of it it's just a really beautiful finish and it could look like water inside the shower this has a little texture blend Ooh, but these I like could tie that texture blend too they could tie really neat up into a shower wall that maybe had this they call it a picket fence tile 
itself. They have oh, two geez. different colors. We can tie the colors together. But you could also do a pre-made base, and they come in like 26 finishes. It just depends so on what you want. It does, yeah. Okay. And hire a designer like me. I'll help you figure it out. I know. That's we can really why you're it. here. Yep. I know, St. Louis, if you're in the market for a bathroom remodel, look no further than the Anne Marie Design Studio. We'll make sure you have access to her information. But she also has a design tip for us. Anne Marie, what is it? Know your options for your shower base before you make a mistake. Meaning yes, don't just no pick mistakes. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any mistakes, no. and she will help you from not making one. Just give her a call. You can hire her to design your bathroom, your kitchen, or really an entire first floor or home remodel. It's the Anne Marie Design Studio, and you can visit her online at amriestudio.com. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.